Angel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a Hong Kong style milk tea, which is a tea I fell in love with when I traveled to Hong Kong about 10 years ago. It's super smooth, very delicious, very bold blend of tea, which I like during afternoon tea time. So if you guys want to learn how to make Hong Kong style milk tea, keep watching. For the ingredients, we'll need two cups of hot water, we will also need tea, which is very important. And here I have Hong Kong style milk tea blend, and we're gonna be using two tablespoons of this loose leaf tea. Now, if you don't have this loose leaf tea, you can also use a tea bag. Here I have PG Tips, which is a nice brand. It's a black tea, but you can also use any tea of your preference. If you use this, I recommend three tea bags. We will also need some evaporated milk, which you guys can't skip on. This is what makes the drink super smooth. And finally, to sweeten, we'll need about a little bit under a tablespoon of sugar, which is how I like mine, but I like to use two packets of sugar in the raw. And you guys are gonna make fun of me, but the reason why I like to use sugar packets is because it's a great way to control the level of sugar. Instead of putting couple tablespoons of sugar, you can just put one or two packets. And now, let's boil some water. Turn the heat on. Now that the water's done boiling, I turned off the heat and I'm just going to lift the lid and let that sit and cool for two minutes. And the reason why we want to do this is so that the water has time to cool a bit before we pour it into the tea. That way it's not so bitter. I've got a measuring glass here and I'm just going to measure out two tablespoons of black tea. This is loose leaf black tea. Now I'm going to add our slightly cooled hot water. Again, we want two cups of hot water here. Now we're just gonna let that sit and brew for five minutes. Now I have my coffee brewer out, and this one has a regular filter here, but I'm also going to be using a paper filter as well, and that's because the tea leaves are very fine, and Hong Kong style milk tea traditionally is filtered three or four times. So that gives that silky smooth tea flavor. But since we're doing this at home and it is kind of messy to filter it three or four times, I think this tastes just as good. So we'll just stick with this. Now that it's been five minutes, I'm just going to pour the tea directly in here slowly. Now I'm just going to remove the filter, put that off to the side here, and it's the perfect time to add our sugar. I really like the dark, darker kind of taste of this turbinado cane sugar, so highly recommend you use this type, and if you don't have the sugar packets, I'm using about just under a tablespoon. Okay, great. Give that a stir. And now let's open our evaporated milk. I recommend that you open a fresh can because it only lasts for a few days. And make sure you shake really well before opening it with your can opener. What just happened? Oh my gosh. Okay, I think this is gonna work. All right, let's try this again. Yay. Done. Okay. So here I recommend putting your evaporated milk, the one that you're not using, into a mason jar. And for our cup of Hong Kong style milk tea, 
I have a small cup here. I'm gonna put about a quarter cup of evaporated milk in here and then I'm going to pour the tea over that. And feel free to start out with less evaporated milk first and then you can add more later to taste. And now we're gonna pour our tea. And now for the taste test, my favorite part of the video. Cheers. Mm. Wow, that's so creamy. And I love the bold flavors of the tea. It's delicious. And just so you guys know, since I only put two packets of sugar in here, it's not very sweet at all. There's just a hint of sweetness and that's so you can enjoy it with some pastries. If you're wondering, I didn't make these. I cheated and went to the bakery instead. 85 degrees, my favorite Taiwanese bakery. Mm. So good. I'm Angel, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's milk tea tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as my grandfather would say, sharing a meal with a fascinating stranger is one of life's true delights. So until we can share some egg tarts and milk tea together, take care, I love you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.